Let's talk about pH. I am not going to go super in depth into pH. I'm just going to treat pH as a characteristic of something. My stomach juices are acidic. My soaps, generally basic. Rain can be bad if it's acidic. Lakes could be bad if it's acidic. Water, generally around neutral. Those are the things that we'll talk about. It's just a characteristic of, of a substance, and it can be good or bad depending upon what um, the scenario it's sitting in. So we're gonna do a fun little activity that talks about acids and bases, how they work, and it's quite visual, so let's do it. So when people talk about pH, generally, they're gonna be using pH paper. Now, pH paper is fine, but it's really not that fun. All it is, is this tiny piece of paper. Let me get one of these out of here, if I can. It's another annoyance of these, is they're a pain to get out of here. And you gotta get just one of them. So I've got this pH paper, I then dunk it in a solution, and I wanna see what color it is, so I gotta match it up alongside this container that has all the different pH numbers, and it's gonna be somewhere between one and 14. Now, that's one way to do pH. The way that I like to do it is a little bit more complicated. You can use cabbage juice, which you can search the internet on how to use it. I've used it in the past. It does get a little stinky, but it works just fine. In this case, to save time, I'm just gonna use a universal indicator that you can also buy, and it does the exact same thing. What an indicator is going to do is tell me what the pH is of this particular solution, this type of indicator. There are many different kinds of indicators. We used a starch indicator before. This one is gonna tell me the pH of some liquid. So what I have the students do first is you're just gonna get a tray, and these are the trays that I like to use. You can also use egg cartons, the plastic egg cartons, those will work just fine as well. And I put a drop of universal indicator solution in each little dish, and then I give them an acid, and in this case it's vinegar, and then I give them a base, and I'll give them some ammonia, and then I let them go play. Mix the, the different chemicals together. What happens when you add the one chemical? Oh, it changes this color. What happens if you add the other one? Oh, it changes to this. And they just play. After they're done playing, I then give them a task. I want a rainbow. See if you can make red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple and see what colors you can make and take note on how those pieces go together. Once we've made the rainbow, then we do the rainbow race game. And what I do for that one is I will give each kid acid and base, they'll have their tray set with their indicator, and then I'll yell out a color that I want them to make. I don't pick red or the, the extreme end and I don't pick blue because those are easy, you just put the one in or the other. I want orange, or I want green, or I want yellow, or I want purple. So I pick colors that do take some mixing of acids and bases. So we'll take a look at what that might look like on this paper down here in this tray. Okay. What we can see here is that things that are in the red, those are going to be more acidic. And if I add a base to it, I can actually bring it back to more of a neutral, which would be kind of a greenish color. And it might take a couple additions to that. Maybe another drop in there. Oops, that might have been a bit too much. There you go, I made it back to blue. And then I can bring it back if I wanted to, back by adding some acid to it to make it back to that reddish color. It's a little bit more of an orange. Again, I can add a little bit more to make it a little bit more red. And again, I can go back and forth, back and forth with this acid and base. So acid and base, all that really is, is a characteristic of something. So that's all I really want you to know about acids and bases for what we're going to be doing in this science class. And Hopefully you enjoyed seeing the mixings of those colors and again it's just a fun little activity to do 
and hopefully you learned something. All right, until the next one. See ya.